Hi, I am Mahesh. I'll be your instructor for this course on getting started with graphical programming on Arduino using MATLAB and Simulink. We'll be playing with many basics that you need to get started with Arduino. So here are some of the components that I've used to cover this entire course. So I've used Arduino Mega and Seed Studio Sidekick for Arduino and then Accelerometer, a L293D motor driver and a Toy DC motor. And this is our Arduino Mega board, which we have used for the entire course. And this is a sidekick uh, for our course. Here it has uh, have all the basic sensor. So we have covered all the basic sensor which has comes with this pack. So you can also buy this sensor from any other electronic shops. So here the MATLAB Simulink, uh, which is we are going to use for this entire course. So Simulink is a graphical programming language used for visualizing dynamic system and it can also be used as a type of control interface for hardware. Simulink works by dragging and connecting blocks representing code. It's like scratch programming but with serious math incorporated in some of the blocks. Simulink is great because it allows you to focus on the modeling process rather than wildly low level code. Simulink has libraries which allows you to not to have declare all the variables and structure code in a way that typical Arduino ID blocks requires. This saves time and makes things easier for beginners. Also the fact that you can run the script in external mode and change the function of the code on the fly is innovative and really helpful for tweaking hardware. So here the list that you will be learning from this course. So you will be learning how to blink a LED in different ways how to acquire analog and digital data and how to make an automatic light system, how to make a theft alarm, how to make a gas leakage system, how to make a temperature display, how to create a custom function, how to program for a DC motor, how to acquire data from accelerometer. 